Yes, I'm surprised at the actual sum involved, but I'm not surprised with the actual issue because we are becoming more aware, particularly now with sedentary lifestyles due to people sitting in front of computers and computer games and everything else associated with online activity, that people are becoming more inactive, even at a very young age. And this is certainly impacting hugely on their health, as well as their well-being and productivity. And it is something that we are, I think, beginning to become more aware of in society, but perhaps not quick enough. And certainly it needs to be addressed because from the cost point of view alone, it's going to put a major burden on a society in the years to come if we do not deal with it effectively. I think to create awareness, we have to uh, back events such as Move Week in particular, because if you get people engaged, and then if you have a follow-up, then uh, people will get into the habit of doing things, they will realize that it's good for them, and especially if they can do it in a social context, it makes it much easier for people maybe who haven't been active before. So certainly supporting Move Week is a great idea because you feel part of a mass movement, you feel that you make a contribution, that you're not being left aside, and above all that it's good for you and your health and for everybody around you. And even in terms of productivity at work, I have noticed this myself all my life, that those who are more physically active, those involved in sport in particular, also tend to have more energy when it comes to work and have less absenteeism. And that is something I think that hasn't been highlighted enough. So the benefits are huge from a work point of view, from a social point of view, from a health point of view, and it's a simple solution. Perhaps it's so simple that people say to themselves that it's too simple and they don't become aware of it enough. Well, in the workplace, the best way and the, probably one of the few ways you can do it here in Parliament is by walking, and particularly not taking the, the lift or the escalator all the time. And if you have to take the escalator, you can walk on the escalator, although often people block you, which isn't uh, the easiest thing to do. But uh, apart from that, at home in Ireland, I would take part in uh, quite a number of charity walks or jogs and also cycling, which is a wonderful pastime and uh, it takes you out amongst the people and it's actually growing massively in Ireland at this point in time both from a social point of view but also for raising funds for worthy charitable causes.